so from here um, you just scale it to as best as you can to fit the head of the alien now it's a bit hard for you to see the model and the outline of the alien character so what you can do is you go to shading and you click on x-ray now you can start to see a bit of like a transparent x-ray mode where you can start to see the lines of the character profile and your edges and vertices more properly now right off the bat you need to start to think how are you going to extrude your faces of this model that you have over here this cube thingy that you have over here you're gonna start to think where are the points you're gonna extrude and how you're gonna move the vertexes to match up with what you have over here in your image plane so what we can do is you go to vertexes and I'm gonna use this area over here these faces over here it's actually there's there's actually two faces if I go back to perspective um, by the way if you press F you can actually quickly frame into that selected face that you have alright so you actually have two faces over here alright the other ones on the other side um, I'm gonna use this guy to be the area where I'm going to extrude the neck so it's gonna come out over here right I try to go as slowly as I can so you can understand what I'm trying to do and these guys over here these faces over here he's gonna be for my head alright so I'm gonna push him this way alright so this guy will go to the go out there and I'm just gonna push everybody else if I say you don't have enough lines over here, it's okay. Just get as much of it as you can. And we're going to start to move them to start to follow the shape of this alien. Now, we need to also think about your mouth and your eye. Like I said, these areas over here are the most important, especially when you want to do some form of animation where the eyes open and close or the mouth open and close. So we need to start to think about that early on of how we put the lines. So what we ideally want is to have the edge flow for the mouth to go this way and then go up and then for the eyes to go around this way. So let's tackle the mouth first. We'll pull this vertex over here and I'll just push this guy down here. This vertex I can pull him down just a bit. Maybe not up to here. Maybe I'll just pull it up to here first later on I can start to create the profile for the mouth okay I, I won't want to worry too much about that now next thing is I'm gonna select the faces um, again I'm showing you it's actually these two faces at the top over here there's another face over here on this side and we're gonna extrude this guy upwards alright um, if you want to you can press R and if you take this square onto the center you actually flatten it out um, but I don't have to flatten it out too much I just you know, do it a bit all right and this face this face is going to be for the eye all right so I'm starting to think right this guy's going to be the eye I'm going to cut the mouth over here this part over here will be that ridge that nose area over there um, so so you have to start to think about where this line is going to be what are they for stuff like that all right so again I'll just extrude this guy upwards again one more time and perhaps I'll do it another time let's just see I'll just move this guy along this way this guy goes up alright um, what I want to do maybe is like pull him just a bit over here and extrude it one more time oops I think again I need to make sure that I select the two faces over here not just one face right and extrude again and this time I can scale him all the way down alright so it kind of like fits the profile um, next thing if I go to my front is you can see things don't really match up alright so again what I can do is go shading x-ray um, if I want to I can actually select this image plane that I have right, so if I want to I can just select this image plane over here and um, I just move it along over here just to make sure that things kind of line up a bit properly right doesn't have to be exact just do it as well as you can now uh, go back to your model over here what you want to do is start to 
move them all right to start to follow the ship but the problem is that when i go to this one this guy is not following me so one way what you can do is if you double click on the move tool all right under symmetry settings which is all the way at the bottom i can turn this to object x all right and if i were to go back select him again you can see that it's selecting a symmetry over here now this will be very dependent on how you actually uh, position your model at the first place remember how uh, we actually flip this guy and so that we can follow that is actually following the world over here all right so if for some funny reason your alien is actually looking this way then this guy would be something else all right it probably be object Z. all right so something for you to take note of just in case if it's not working for you so you can pull this out and just pull this just out a bit all right again don't need to follow the exact shape or what uh, just something quite rough okay all right so we have a basic shape of this alien dude over here um, next thing is let's go and tackle the neck since we are already doing extrusion again I make sure I select these two faces over here and we extrude it downwards all right I just want to do it one time over here and maybe I flatten this guy out just a bit and press E I'll rotate him this way maybe scale him down just a bit more all right as you can see it looks quite squarish again don't be afraid to go to your edge try to pull things around make it you know not so square Right, something like that would be kind of okay. Um, doesn't have to be exact again. Like I said, you just follow as roughly as you can. Right, maybe somewhere over here. Um, the reason for this is that you don't have extra loop over here. That's why it's not acting properly. But it's okay. We just try to get it as close as we can. Alright. Now, you may notice something here. This area over here and this area over here looks different. Alright, this is a softened edge and this is actually a hardened edge. Right, since we are over here, let me just show you an example. I'm just going to duplicate this guy. Um, to duplicate, you press Ctrl D and then you move it up. And I'm going to have three of these guys over here. 